My name is Karen Agro, and I'm from Canada, and I am both a health professional and also a musician. Over the past few years, I've been combining both health and music together uh, as part of my career. I grew up in London, Ontario, Canada, and my parents actually put me in music when I was five years old. Uh, they saw um, a gentleman by the name of Ray Seely, who was running the guitar program at the University of Western Ontario at the time, and uh, they were very intrigued. And so I started studying with Ray when I was five years old and continued right through until the end of my high school uh, career. And um, during that time, uh, we did a lot of performing. We even went to England and performed a version of Platero, which was... Um, music that Ray had written for two guitars and voice. Um, so I, I did a lot of performing uh, during that time, but then come to the end of high school, I had to make a decision. That decision was whether I was going to go into music or whether I was going to choose something else. So I chose to go into the health professions. I went into pharmacy at the University of Toronto, but with a promise to always go back to music. And so that was kind of like my big decision point at the time. It was a really hard decision. I worked in the pharmaceutical industry for a number of years, then I went back and did a doctorate in pharmacy at the University of Toronto, and a master's in science in clinical epidemiology at McMaster University. Music was always sort of bubbling along. It was something I was always doing. I was playing at weddings, I was playing at functions, mm. um, but the, the health professions was something I was heavily involved in. Uh, in 2018, I was on a family vacation in San Francisco and I fell 15 feet free fall off of a rock climbing wall. And I came down straight on my arm and I was lying in the rock climbing gym, um, basically unable to move. And they sent me to the San Francisco General where I was there for nine hours because they thought I broke my back. During that time, I had my aha moment that when I realized, oh my gosh, I may never be able to play guitar again, that it really hit me that I have to really, now's the time to bring it back. And then fast forward a year later, my father was in the end stages of dementia and I would play by his bedside. These were in his last three days of life. And he would actually utter the name of a piece I was playing, even though he was semi-comatose. Um, I played this piece called Sounds of Bells and as a teenager, played it for him, and he, all of a sudden he just perked up sound, and he said the word sounds of bells. Similarly, I was playing a Bach piece that was a violin partita transcribed for guitar, and all of a sudden in the middle of this you know, commotion of this hospital bed and hospital room, he said the word violin, and I've never played that piece for him. So that's when I discovered the potency of music and how it can really tap into our brains. So then now in the last few years, I've been spending my time uh, combining music and health and speaking on the health benefits of music. And that's why I've come back to music in a much more serious way in the last three to four years. I would say now I have even more reason to practice. So I would say before my job was 95% health, 5% music, and now it's the balance is, is shifting. So now there's much more uh, focused reason to practice because I might need to play for something or have a piece ready for an event or find a way of tying a piece into perhaps one of my speaking opportunities or a workshop I'm giving. So yes, and I, I seem to have more reason to be at the ready to play you know when you're perform you're practicing and you you sort of got pieces bumbling along but you're not really ready to perform them i the need to actually have things uh performance ready becomes um much more relevant now i think my, my piece of advice is to figure out what you're passionate about and then go for it double down on it Find your niche as well, because find out what differentiates you from everyone else in terms of your passion. And then it's amazing how when you do pick your passion and go for it um, and, and, and follow that, that drive, things show up 
it's just it's vibrant when you're vibrating in that space and you're you're putting your name out there and you're looking for opportunities once you put yourself out there and say I'm doing it it's amazing what actually shows up uh, and the opportunities that present themselves <laughs>